Hola guys. So ooh, we are at the mall. We are actually in belts right now. So I made my little stop at the Mac. Got me some concealer and some foundation. So do you want to tell them the good news, Shania? Good news. Yes. Do you remember what the good news is? The news. So tell them. <laughs> okay. The good the good news is that we're going on a cruise. <laughs> yeah. So we are going on a cruise. We are going to the Bahamas. We are leaving on Friday. So we're doing a little shopping for our cruise. I'm so happy. So excited. Hey lovelies. I am on my way to my mom my stepmom's house. Yeah, that's where I am. I'm going to my stepmom's house. But as we um let you guys know, um that was a video from yesterday that we are actually going on a cruise. And we basically just going like we going to the Bahamas. I just want to explain more about that. We have never cruised before. This is our first time cruising. And it's a lot to like get prepared and stuff. Like as for the documentation and stuff like that. Like the kids, they don't need a passport. And you guys don't need a passport either. But if you guys like actually have your passport, that's good. If you don't, you have to do your birth certificate and your state issued ID. So, yeah, just to basically let them know that you actually live in the country or, you know, whatever documents that you need to travel. You have to have the correct travel documents. I wasn't born in the United States of America. <laughs> I was born in Jamaica. So, I have a passport and a green card. I have to bring my passport and my green card. I cannot bring my, um, I cannot bring a birth certificate because I was not born here. So, with that said, that's the documents that I have to bring. And yeah, so the kids don't need no no passport, even though Shania has a passport, but Chanel doesn't have her passport. But it's not something that we have to rush and go get right now because they're minors or whatever. So that I was like on the phone, like trying to get because when I travel, like you know, I travel with my passport and my green card. So I was like, Is it the same process? Can I just bring my green card and my driver's license? And they were like, No, you have to bring your green card and your passport. I was like, Oh, okay, so that was fine with me. So, and the other thing is like basically packing everything that you need. But I was watching other people's videos on Facebook, like the um. The travel, Mr. Travel or something like that. The travel, Mr. Travel. I think that's what his name is. I was basically watching his like tips for first time cruisers and stuff like that. So, I am like so ready. Like, I went to the mall yesterday and I got like my little stuff that I got some stuff that I needed. And I basically just have to finish up i gotta pack the girls stuff i gotta make sure that i have everything that i'll need at least a couple of bathing suits i have some but i wanted to buy some new ones so i went to the mall yesterday and i got some new bathing suits and basically i am ready like i'm so excited like i've been trying to go on a cruise for the past Four years since I was you know with my ex and whatever as you guys can see there's somebody new in my videos cuz I'm no longer married yeah that's another story y'all yeah that's another story but I am just in love with this 
new life that I have and you know I'm more comfortable I'm more easy going I'm more fun I'm traveling more I'm doing a lot more stuff so that's basically that but I am like ready I'm so ready to go on the screws I'm so ready I'll let you guys know more because I have to basically go online and print my documents out like my passes and my tag like my um luggage tags and stuff like that but i'll like i keep you guys posted like i'm like it's expensive to like the cruise itself is not expensive but if you drink alcohol and you want the alcohol package 50 dollars a day heck no that's a lot for one person 50 dollars a day for one person is a whole lot of money but I'll talk to you guys later. I am on my way to Fort Stewart. Army base. Military base. You should say. Uh, yeah. As I was saying about the cruise, like the the gratuity the gratuity is not included in the the price of the cruise and the um the the what's in what's in it what is included in the price that you actually go and pay before you pay the gratuity is the port taxes and the fees so the gratuity is not included in the price but you can add it to it so you pay it before you actually go on the cruise but you don't have to pay it, I think until you actually complete your cruise or you are at the port or I don't know how it works because you know as I told you it's not my I've never been on the cruise before it's my first cruise so with that said it's like and then they charge you for adults I think they charge you like six dollars a day for each adult for like a soda package but we don't really drink soda like that but just in case we did it'll be like six dollars a day and then like the kids it will be like what four dollars a day so you know, that's a lot. There's a lot of things to take in consideration. If you can book your cruise earlier and get like a a deal on it, it will be great. But if you, you know, if you're doing it like last minute like me, you'll actually pay more. So, but it's it was whatever. You know, the money wasn't really the issue as for that, because it's still works out cheaper to take five people on this cruise than going to Disney it's still cheaper than going to Disney and you know you get to leave the country you get to go to a different island or whatever so I think it's like a cruise is better for vacation than going to other places like especially if you want to leave your home and go stay at a hotel and at least the cruise provide the food and stuff like that so i basically have to finish packing i have not started packing i bought some stuff but i did not start packing my bags as yet where is my oh okay it's right here i was looking for my past to go on post so it's just stuff like that that said and done we are ready I'm not packed I gotta go get the I see like they have like the, the, the shampoos and body wash and stuff like that actually inside the so we got a we, we did not we get a window what is it an ocean view that's what we purchased we purchased the ocean view because it's our first cruise we didn't want to go all out and get a balcony or a suite and you know so maybe next time when we go we'll 
actually go all out if that makes any sense but as for now we're just gonna try that we didn't want to do the interior <laughs> i want to be able to say the iceberg and... hold on i'm going to post hey how are you i'm doing great Thank you. No problem. Yep, All right, good. you too. So, I just went through Fort Stewart. You can see it in my background. But, um, yeah. So, let me. Like, you can't speed on poles. <laughs> you, you have to do the, the speed limit is 30. But you know, yeah, you gotta be on your P's and Q's driving on Fort Stewart because they do not play. These police officers will get you like that. But I'm gonna let you see what we're not packing, like what I actually pack and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm gonna let you see. But I am so freaking excited. Our cruise leave on the 21st that's this friday and i am just and today is tuesday so you know your girl is ecstatic <laughs> like i'm a complete mess like i am so freaking excited you guys don't even understand how excited i am like i am too freaking ready yo i am so ready I am ready point five. That's how ready I am. Go ahead. <laughs> I am ready point five to like do this. Like I am so ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Like you guys don't even understand. Like I've been trying to go on a cruise for four freaking years. I know I said that already, but I'm like. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Four years later! Like, four years later! I'm finally gonna do it. I'm freaking like... <sighs> I'm ready. I am so ready. Let's do 